There are many things that can brick the Google Pixel 6 series, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to unbrick any of these three devices using the Android Flash Tool website in Chrome. This process will require that you have a PC so that we can use the website Google has created and it will, re will require you to connect the smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. This guide also requires you to have an unlocked bootloader ahead of time since we're flashing firmware images to the device. Completing this Google Pixel 6 unbrick tutorial will erase everything on your phone so that it can boot into Android like normal. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is boot the Google Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro, or Pixel 6a into fast boot mode. It doesn't matter which of these three phones you own, accessing fast boot mode will be the same on all three devices. Now in order to do this on a phone that is currently in a boot loop, we're going to need to press and hold the volume down button while the phone is rebooting over and over. If you're holding this button down while the device is trying to boot up, it should get you into the fast boot mode screen that you see here. And if you need more detailed instructions on how to access fast boot mode on the Google Pixel 6 series, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a link to a dedicated tutorial that I did that covers all of that. Now once the phone is in fast boot mode, we can go ahead and connect it to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're gonna need to open up the Google Factory Images website in Chrome on the desktop. I'll have this page linked in the video description below for those who want a direct link to the page, just make sure you are on the factory images page and not the full OTA images page as that is used for something different. Now we want to scroll down until you find the section for your specific device. Meaning if you have the Pixel 6 Pro then you want to scroll down until you see the section for the Pixel 6 Pro. If you have the Pixel 6a smartphone, then you're going to want to scroll to the section dedicated to the Pixel 6a. I have the base Pixel 6 phone here, so we're going to be flashing a firmware from the Pixel 6 section. When you find this section, you're going to want to scroll toward the bottom of that section so that we can pick the latest version of the firmware available for your device. And please note, make sure that you're choosing the correct firmware here. If you have a factory unlocked device purchased from the Google Store, then you're going to want to install the factory unlocked version. If you bought the device from Verizon or a Verizon MVNO, then we're going to need to install that one. The same thing for EMEA, SoftBank, and others. Once you have found the firmware that you want to flash, we're going to be clicking the flash link next to that firmware. You should get this pop-up prompt right here, and we're gonna click the allow ADB access. And then we're going to select our device. We can look at the advanced options here. We want to wipe the entire device. You can choose to lock the bootloader if you want. We're not gonna be doing that right here and we're going to be forcing the flash on all partitions. Once your advanced options are set up, 
then we can begin this unbrick process for the Google Pixel 6 by clicking the blue install build button here. You're going to be asked to confirm if you have selected the correct device and if you have selected the correct firmware. And as long as you have done the steps properly, those two things should be set correctly. When ready, just click the blue confirm button in the bottom right and then click I accept. You're going to see that the website is going to download the firmware that it needs to flash to your device. And the amount of time that this process takes will largely depend on how fast your internet connection is, how fast your computer is, and how fast the USB connection is from the phone to the PC. Just please note, the page instructs you to not interact with the device unless instructed to do so by this page. And be sure that you do not unplug the device. And there's really no need to mess with the USB cable at all. Maintain a secure USB cable connection to your phone so that the firmware can be flashed properly. You're going to be told whenever the device is rebooting, just as you saw. And again, we just need to wait patiently while the website does the work. You will notice that your Pixel 6 has rebooted into a different fast boot mode with the word Fast Boot D up at the top in red letters. Again, there's no need to interact with the device unless this page tells you to do so. And since it hasn't, I have not touched a button or the screen on the phone. You'll notice that after each of the sections that it's uploading for the partition data, after it uploads the partition data, it will flash that part of the partition data. 
depending on how big your firmware is for your specific device, you'll likely see these files broken up into many parts, just as you saw. That's the script doing all of the work for us, so that we don't have to do any of this manually. Once it gets to the install complete message here, you're going to notice that the Pixel 6 has rebooted again. And from here, we can now unplug the USB cable. It may take a little bit longer than normal since we did do a factory reset as Android has to set some things up before it can take you to the Android activation screen. I'm going to skim through all of this to get us back to the home screen real quick. Once we are back to the home screen, we have completed the Google Pixel 6 Unbrick tutorial, and you can set up your phone like normal. If you have any backed up data, go ahead and restore the data as you normally would, and use the comments section below if you have any questions or come across any issues relating to fixing a boot loop on the device.